Welcome to the Delaware Mortgage Rate Weekly Mortgage Market Update for the week of June 23rd, 2014. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage here to give you an update. Well, last week, Delaware mortgage rates bounced around in the tight range and they ended the week right about where they started. If you take a look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see uh, mortgage bonds over the last week and a half have been tight, trading in this tight range that's bound by the, the black line on the top and the black line on the bottom. And if you look right there on Monday, we were right at the top of the channel. So that was a floor, uh, basically a ceiling resistance, can't break through that. This week we, we traded back to the bottom of the channel, broke through but came back, and then tried to break above but came back. And Friday we ended right at a ceiling of resistance in that channel. So we're going to recommend floating your Delaware mortgage rate to start the week. Since we're right at the top of that channel, we're going to see if we can break through that ceiling resistance. If we can, we can see Delaware mortgage rates move lower. So recommendation, float your Delaware mortgage rate to start the week. Now let's look into this. Had some economic news come out last week. The big event last week was the Federal Reserve meeting on Wednesday. Uh, after their meeting, they released their notes and they basically said they're going to continue the tapering of their asset purchase program, QE3, by another $10 billion. So starting in July, it's going to drop from $45 billion down to only $35 billion of purchasing mortgage bonds and treasuries. As the feds pull back their asset purchase program, that will have a negative effect on the bond market because there will be less demand on the market. So we may see an effect in July on the interest rates, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. And then they also said they're going to keep um, their short-term interest rates, the Fed funds rate, the amount they what they charge banks for borrowing from the Feds, at almost zero percent. So no change there. And then they also said there is no overvaluation in the stock market, so that may help the stock market rally, which could be bad for bonds as well. So we got to keep on the lookout going into July. A couple events that could move interest rates higher, but we are recommending floating right now to start the week. Uh, and then we saw. Uh, a uh, report on inflation, the Consumer Price Index, the CPI, came out last week. Came out higher than expected at 0.4%, which means inflation is heating up. The year-over-year -year increased to 2.1%. Now, that is in the range of the Fed now of 2 to 2.5%. Um, but we got to be careful. If inflation keeps heating up, that would be bad news for bonds, and that would move interest rates higher. So we will keep an eye on that for you. And then Thursday, we had the weekly initial jobless claims come out at 312,000 claims. That was a dip from last week of 6,000 claims. So the claims have been hovering in the low 300,000s for the last couple of weeks. So um, it's a pretty stable labor market there in terms of claims. We will keep an eye on that. And then the housing news, uh, the housing market for 2013 is cooling off as we move into 2014. Housing starts from May 2014 dropped by 6.5% from April to May to an annual rate of 1.001 million units. Um, and then Housing Starts measures the number of new residential home constructions that builders started on. And then we also saw building permits for May 2014 fall by 6.4% to an annual rate of 994,000 units. Building permits is the number of permits builders applied for to build new homes. Now that's a sign of future construction, so that has been tapering off as well. So we will keep a lookout for that. It just shows the housing market is cooling. Still doing good. Still a great time to buy. We just can't keep that double-digit appreciation we had for the last two years. Um, and then there was some positive news in the housing market. The home builder housing market index moved up to 49 from 45 uh, the previous month. Um, that's only one point shy of 50, and 50 is considered good for new home construction. So that was some good news in the new home construction market. In the local news, the next free first time home buyer seminar is Saturday, July 19th in Newark, Delaware at the Christiana Hilton Hotel from 10 a.m. to noon. Now, if you'd like to register that event, you can give us a call at 302-703-0727, or you can register online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.